In this video, I'll show you a few more uh, texture examples that are coming up in February on my scifianimator.com website. So this one is a 1024 by 1024 texture, and I just painted this one in. So the uh, texture creation program that I have works in both vector and raster mode. So I can, like in this case, I can paint with all these really nice colored gradients, and then if I wanted, I could actually map a geometric texture directly on top of that at the same time without disrupting the background because I like to work in both so and then when I bring it into here and just mapped it onto this arbitrary shaped object then I have lighting over here so it's shading it but it's also using the colors within here at the same time to give it the effect that I'm looking for because I mean you're certainly not going to try and go use a whole bunch of different color lights or objects to try and simulate this I assure you so that's one thing alright so let's see the others that are in here for today Okay, now here, now this is strictly, well, there's an icosphere in here, but otherwise this is strictly a mathematical texture that I have mapped into the scene. And so I just drew a bunch of, in this case, I was drawing a bunch of polynomials and changing things up and making my little starfighter effect and using numerous colors. It didn't take but moments to generate the texture, but it gives me a great way to, you know, design things that I can't, illustrate by hand because I'm not really great at, at being an illustrator but I can certainly program and do math oh I can so all right so that's another approach and this is also a 1024 by 1024 texture and then the last one for today is this one here now this is actually a uh, 2048 by 2048 texture and you can see it's got pretty good detail when you look at, circles are pretty good indicator these are a bunch of ellipses that are tapped together you can see they go from this blue here up to a green it's just a gradient of ellipses is what's actually making the shading effect as well as uh, some lighting that's actually bringing it other out but otherwise it's just this it's a gradient based ellipse in here and there's some more up here and then this is this effect is just that I hand drew right on top of the texture because the program I c you can put in the geometric textures or do mathematical textures and designs or I can paint just like a regular paint program directly on top of the textures as well of course those would be a, a raster effect because I can't scale the paint in this case I can scale all this other stuff up here but the uh, to run in to run a paint program this particular program I wrote in C sharp and I'm, I also code in C++, but C Sharp, when you extend your bitmap up to 2048 by 2048, first thing you have to scroll between, you know, your images. I'm, when I can actually get a monitor that's big enough to display an image that's 2048 by 2048, then maybe I'll upgrade this to be vector-based as well. Then you got to save a lot more data, though, at the same time. So it's not really necessary for what I do, but... All right, so that's just kind of give you some more ideas as to what, how textures work. And like I said, in February when I put this site up, there's going to be a bunch of free textures as well as commercial, as well as textures either for sale in a library or somehow. And um, well, I'm kind of curious to see how you all as artists can put it to effect. Because I assure you, I'm not an artist. I am a programmer and I have some math skills and I do some art. But I've, I've worked amongst artists before and I've seen how they can take their years of training and put nice textures to work in better ways than I can. Uh -huh. All right. Okay, well, that's it for now, and I'll see you in the next video.